I'm Kelly Warner. Did you know that there are more than 10,000 additives currently approved by the FDA to preserve and package food? Increasing evidence suggests some chemicals used as food additives should be avoided, especially by children. Take a look at the food labels in your kitchen pantry and you'll likely spot additives, chemicals in prepackaged foods that are used to enhance the flavor, appearance, or texture of a product or to extend its shelf life. The American Academy of Pediatrics is really encouraging all of us parents to think hard and label read before we put food in our kids' bodies. You want to look at the label and make sure that you recognize the ingredients. Common food additives include artificial coloring and flavorings, thickeners and binders, high fructose corn syrup, artificial sweeteners, and nitrates, frequently found in processed meats. While some food additives can be consumed with minimal risk, the American Academy of Pediatrics says a rising number of studies suggest some food additives may interfere with hormones, growth, and development in children. Doctors for people of all ages in the U.S. are now recognizing that the chemicals that are in our foods are really unhealthy for us. To help reduce your family's consumption of food additives, aim for buying fresh or frozen fruits and vegetables instead of canned and limit processed meats. You can also make simple swaps like air popped popcorn in place of microwaved popcorn, swapping block cheese for prepackaged shredded cheese, and choosing plain chips and crackers more often than flavored options. Dr. Bradshaw recognizes that eating healthy can cost more and require more prep time, but she encourages families to make changes where they can. It's all a balance. So you don't have to feed every single thing. It doesn't have to be homemade, perfect, fresh, but the majority of our kids' diet should be that. For more information about food additives and how to limit them, head to eugenepeds.com slash healthy kids. I'm Kelly Warner.